welcome to another Yoga with TG video. Today, I really wanted to talk about a pose that some people really love and they could spend a whole day in the pose and other people really want to like it, but really struggle to find that comfortable sinking into that pose. And so it's child's pose. So if you've ever had any trouble getting comfortable in child's pose, this is the video for you. So traditionally, I'm gonna show you how child's pose is cued. And then you see I have some props here, the blanket and a bolster that we'll talk about how we can use those to maybe make it more comfortable. Okay, so child's pose is often cued as taking the knees wide, touching the toes together, sinking the hips back, and reaching the arms up overhead. And again, some people really love this pose and other people do not. A couple of easy variations is one, you can always wrap the hands back by the feet. You also can always adjust the knees. Some people like to bring the knees closer together, maybe even touching. And so you're a little bit more of that ball shape. But still, some people just can't find comfort in this pose. So a couple of additional options. One is using a blanket where you can place the blanket maybe where the knees might be or the feet or a little bit of both. So that the knees get just that little bit more cushion or the tops of the feet do. Some of us have uh, feet that don't enjoy the pressure on the top of the feet. And so you can try that. Additionally, you can tuck the toes underneath, even if it's not cute that way. If your feet are threatening to cramp or they don't like child's pose, you can tuck the toes under and sink back. Additionally, if the hips are tight, don't force them to go back further than they want to. Um, that can make it really uncomfortable. You can think more about being on the forearms in child's pose. So you take the knees wide, maybe you touch the toes together or tuck the toes, and you sink down to forearms, and then you have a little bit more control over how far the hips are willing to go back. And you just go to where maybe you feel a stretch, but it's something you can hold, right? And then you can sink the head toward those forearms, or if it goes far enough, down toward the mat, maybe between the arms. It's meant to be a rest pose, a child's pose, and so you wanna be able to breathe slowly, kind of reconnect, uh, slow the breath, and so we really want to be able to find a comfortable position. Lastly, um, is with a bolster. So if you're not finding comfort um, in any of these others and your studio has bolsters, you can always grab one. Um, and when you take the knees wide, the bolster goes right there between and you just sink that chest down onto the bolster and you can bring one ear to the bolster and it just adds a little bit of support in that sinking. And if you have a bolster there at home, you should maybe just do this all the time. <laughs> you can breathe into the hips and into that back and exhale to just release and relax. So I think maybe I'll stay here a little bit longer, but thank you for joining me for this video. I hope it helps you uh, find some comfort in child's pose if it's given you trouble. And I would love to have you in class or if you need more tips and variations and modifications to make your practice accessible for you, then check out my Facebook events. Send me a message for when my next beginner's workshop is. I would love to have you. Thanks.